What's going on, smart people? As most of you know, I am a first-year grad student for physics. Well, actually, first-semester grad student. But I can find something to enjoy in pretty much any physics course I take, except for experimental. But there are a few courses in particular that I'm really looking forward to taking at the graduate level, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The first course is electrodynamics, and just like an undergrad, this is a two-part course, but unlike undergrad, Griffiths isn't there to save you. I've heard absolute horror stories about graduate level e and more specifically the Jackson book that seems to more or less be the universal textbook for the class, and there is a hilarious video depicting if a certain dictator had to go through Jackson e and which I will link in the description if you haven't seen it already. Special relativity was actually created to describe how charged particles interact and move, and I'm sorry if I undersell it, but relativity is objectively the single most coolest subject anyone has ever come up with in the history of the universe. It's got time dilation, length contraction, tensors, need I say more, but by extension, this means that E&M is just fun and exciting, even though the Jackson book is kind of a meme at this point. The other two courses are two parts of one course, which so is e &M, but the subjects that you go over in the different parts are so different that it might as well be two different courses, and that is quantum field theory. Quantum field theory, just saying the name of the class literally makes you a smarter person. I didn't even study in undergrad. I said quantum field theory 4,000 times, and here I am, an intellectual. The first half of the course goes over path integral formulation of quantum chromodynamics, canonical quantization, introductory QED, basic quantum field theory. It's, it's a part of a class that personally I think I can almost handle at this point. The second half of this course is a different story because it gets into more advanced QED as well as an introduction to quantum chromodynamics and lattice QCD, which is what I think I want to pursue professionally. QCD is the theory of the strong force. What keeps protons and neutrons together is fascinating because I'm barely holding it together. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Now there are other courses that I'd be really excited to take, like General Relativity, which I'll take in a heartbeat if they're offered, but that basically comes down to chance here, so I'm not really banking on it. Let me know in the comments section what classes you literally just can't wait to take, and I'll see you guys there.